Hi, and welcome back. Phyllis Mbudia was born the fourth born in a family of five. Her parents separated in 1998 and she was brought up in a very humble background. The gospel musician met her husband, Stephen Joroge, while she was still a student at Kenyatta University. Mbudia started her primary school at Kanorera Primary before joining Kinare Primary School in Dunduri. She did well in a Kenya certificate of primary education and got a chance to join a local school. She didn't like the school, turning into a rebellious student which led her to her expansion. Later she worked for a rich family as a house help before going back to school. At some point, she lived with her aunt followed by her brother. She got into several disagreements with members of her family which made her contemplate suicide in 2010 while she was in Form 3. She thought of ending it by taking a poison, hurling herself in front of a moving vehicle or hanging herself. Despite all the ups and downs, she was able to complete her secondary education and joined Kenyatta University where she successfully completed her course. Like most musicians, she discovered her love for music at a young age. She started writing songs while in grade 5. In 2013, she composed the song Tiganiwe which propelled her to fame. At the time, she had no money, resources or knowledge on a producer. Luckily, she came across CD seller who introduced her to her brother who was an artist. With the help of her help loan, she was able to pay for the first song. Nine months later, the song was aired by a media personality named Mushina who thought it was a great song. From 2013, the singer has been able to release a number of songs and has gone on to win the Groove Awards. She has also been able to do a number of collaborations with different artists including Sami Irungu. The latest Groove Award she won was the 2019 Central Song of the Year. Apart from being a musician, she is also an actress. She has acted in a local vernacular drama where she demonstrated great skills. Together with her husband, they founded the White Crown Media Limited, a music company that deals with music production at large from audios to videos. The sing also meant a surprising gospel musicians. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment.